Life Bounder fans, Jason here, and today's founders are Thomas Lynch Sr. and Thomas Lynch Jr. That's right, we have a two for one today. Both the stories revolve around the Declaration of Independence, and both unfortunately are a little bit sad. So brace your heartstrings and let's get into it. Thomas Lynch Sr. was a leader of South Carolina well before any inklings of revolution are talked about. And in fact, he was already such an important leader that when the Stamp Act Congress was called in 1765, Thomas Lynch Sr. was sent to New York City to represent South Carolina and discuss the Stamp Act itself. And the result of the Stamp Act Congress were three letters that were sent to England, one to the King, one to the House of Lords, and one to the House of Commons. And Thomas Lynch Sr. was chairman of the committee that sent the letter to the House of Lords. Now he goes back and continues to be a leader in South Carolina, and when things get worse in 1774, Thomas Lynch Sr. is then sent to the First Continental Congress, where he does sign the Articles of Association that announce the boycott of British goods. Furthermore, Lynch Sr. is sent back to the Second Continental Congress, and he is sent with actually Benjamin Franklin and Benjamin Harrison over to uh, up to Massachusetts not long after George Washington takes over the Continental Army, and their mission there is to figure out how they could help George Washington from the Continental Congress win the war. The result of which is what became known as Washington's Navy, which was essentially a bunch of privateer ships that were recruited uh, before the Continental Navy itself had been created. Notably, Donald Glover's ship, the Hannah, which we spoke about recently. Anyway, during this time, Thomas Lynch Sr.'s son, Thomas Lynch Jr., pictured here, uh, he had spent a whole lot of time, as wealthy children of South Carolina plantation owners might do, over in London getting an education in the law. And he returns home pretty radicalized. He's very quickly elected to the Provincial Assembly, which is the kind of shadow government that assembles when the South Carolina governor had dissolved the Colonial Assembly. He's elected to that, and he also is commissioned as a commander in the South Carolina militia. Now, he starts leading his men to Charleston, but he falls ill with a fever. And Thomas Lynch Jr. takes a while to recover from this fever, and as soon as he does, he wants to go back and lead his men, but he receives sad news. His father, Thomas Lynch Sr., who was serving in the Continental Congress, had a stroke. So Junior, the son, was chosen to replace his father. He goes up to Philadelphia, and his job is twofold. First of all, serve in the Continental Congress, and second of all, take care of his father, who just suffered this really serious stroke. While Thomas Lynch Jr. is there, well, the vote on independence happens, and Lynch Jr. votes for independence. And when the Declaration of Independence is signed a month later, Thomas Lynch Jr. puts his signature on the Declaration of Independence. Now, sadly, his father is still ill, still in Philadelphia, but still ill. And if only they could get his father out of bed to the, the just up the road to the state house, then they would have been the only father-son pair to sign the Declaration of Independence. They're one of a handful of father-son pairs, notably the Middletons, also of South Carolina. Uh, father signed the First Continental Congress Article of Association, and son signs the Declaration. So they're not the only South Carolina family to even be in this situation, but it is unfortunate that they couldn't both sign it. Either way, eventually, uh, Thomas Lynch Sr., the father, gets a little bit better, and Junior is able to help him home, or so they think. Because on their travels back to South Carolina, they stop in uh, Baltimore, and while there, Thomas Lynch Sr. suffers another stroke and dies between Philadelphia and his home. Now, Lynch Jr. brings his father home. He's the only one there when his father dies. He brings his father home, and they bury him, but Lynch Jr. himself had never actually fully recovered from the fever that he came down with right at the beginning of the war when he was leading men to South Carolina before his father even had a stroke. Now, by 1779, Lynch uh, Jr., he decides he needs some help. He needs better health. And the doctors recommended what they recommended at the time, which was go to the Caribbean and get some of that good old Caribbean air. It was a very common uh, recommendation for wealthy people who could afford it to cure their illnesses. So Thomas Lynch Jr. and his wife get on a boat to go to the West Indies. And as was wont to happen at the time, their ship is lost at sea. And his story ends rather abruptly, uh, which is very sad. And at just 30 years old, he was the youngest signer of the Declaration of Independence to die. 
Uh, he was not the first to die. That goes to Button Gwinnett. But he was the youngest person to sign the declaration who passed away. So that is the sad story. I warned your heartstrings of Thomas Lynch, senior and junior, the two sick Thomas Lynches, as I like to call them. Uh, Patriots who dedicated their lives to the cause and were so close to being the father-son tandem, really important to the American Revolution, especially in the early years. But again, neither of them made it to 1780, so they had absolutely nothing to do with the creation of the United States. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something about the two sick Thomas Lynches. If you did, definitely hit like. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I put out short videos like this every morning, seven days a week, about American founders. That coincides with an article I publish on my website, Founder of the Day. And weeknights at 8.15, I put out a series of longer form content, including interviews, uh, discussions about other topics of the revolution. We do trivia on Fridays. I have a weekly wrap-up. It's a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe, come on back, and I will be back with another founder for you tomorrow.